are we live okay so yeah so what is going on everybody my name is mehul and welcome to your 17th tutorial for electron framework and in this tutorial we're gonna move forward and uh, add some new things to our app so the first one i can relate is that uh, we need a div id div class go back button here which just says us done and i'm gonna say that this is ng click hide this and we need that in our ng repeat loop so i'm gonna go ahead inside my script and say scope dot hide this is a function which is pretty much says scope dot controls active controls active to false right and uh, we can just style this one as well but we need to take a look in the browser so e1 brightness done contrast done invert done and brightness okay looks fine but we need to style this button and this area a little so let's just see what we can do so we're gonna navigate real quick to brightness and uh, I'm gonna say dot effect name is a uh, margin button let's just say 40 pixels font size is one point or rather two rems let's just say or three I guess 2.5 would do then we can have for the done which is dot go back uh, with uh, 90 pixels height 90 pixels background triple e or we can just go with any black sort of color as well <clears throat> color white justify or display flex justify content center align items center border radius 50 percent and uh, margin top 20 pixels 30 whatever right so yep and if you go to style.css and paste it right here we can see that uh, we can add a cursor of pointer to the scroll back right and uh, we'll be good to go so yeah let's just take a look brightness increase the brightness we go back contrast increase the contrast we go back okay looks great now let's just add a little background to the preview uh, we can pretty much say give it a background of uh, a little grayish type of color right and uh, For the buttons, we can just leave that as white or maybe just give it a border of 3 pixels solid triple E, right? And uh, we can say that when we div dot effect type over background is same as the button that might look a little confusing so let's just bring it a little or just enough right so we can just go with that div dot uh, what we have effect right effect type it is effect type effect type so we'll just delete that and uh, yep so again if we take a look looks much better at least for now and uh, i can go to brightness increase the brightness or decrease the brightness and uh, all that stuff again 
there are just some basic stuff left otherwise we are almost done some enhancements we can add a title here as well there are multiple ways to do that i'm gonna go the most dirty way so i'm gonna say content before content crazy images position absolute left zero top zero color white font size 30 25 and i'm gonna now change this to 15 then i'm gonna go real bad with the positioning but you can actually just go ahead and fix that yourself so yep and if we now finally take a look at the app it looks almost ready we open a file e1 select an image we do some brightness stuff we do some contrast we invert the image, we grayscale it a little, we saturate it a little, we blur it a pixel and we are done with the world's best image ever made, right? So that is all for this one and in the next tutorial, we are gonna make it a more or rather we'll just take a look at how we can actually save this image right that is going to be a little bit of challenging task to do but we're gonna manage it so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one